you can this one today. I think.
All right, I'll call this meeting to order. First up, roll call. Councilor Morris? Present. Councilor Jivery? Present. Councilor Levine? Present. Councilor Johnson? Present. Mayor Levine? Present. Thank you. Pledge of allegiance. Next up, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'm going to need a, a motion to approve additions to the agenda 6364, 84, 85, 950, and 960. Make motion. Support. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Next up, the uh, discussion on the consent agenda. Uh, Changes or corrections. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Other appearances, thank you. Coming, Ellen, Ellie. Good evening, uh, I will start with the GIS proposal, which I believe you guys all have in your packets. Uh, the proposal outlines the work we will do for this, this part of the project, um, kind of setting up the GIS system, which is like a living document of um, mainly utilities, but also the information she wants to put in this system. Um, to start with, we would basically take the data that we have for the sanitary sewer system, storm sewer system, and the water distribution system, and put that into, CAD, or into GIS with the data that we have. And then we would also do the field collection, have our surveyors go out and locate all the manholes and all the hydrants, gate valves, et cetera, so that the locations are accurate in GIS. Um, from there, we'll continue to set up the GIS, and then once it's all ready to go, we'll have kind of a training session for anyone that wants to attend on the side of the city, so you guys know how to use it and edit it too as you want. Um, and then from there, we intend to have all that work completed by the end of June. There is an annual cost for the city of Key Latin to have the GIS subscription. Um, if you total up each of those account types, it's about $1,045 a year, just for that annual subscription of the entry account paid directly to Esri. Otherwise, the lump sum project cost for this project, you can see the agreement there. Do you guys have any questions? Yes. Ellie, how many licenses does a city typically have? Do they just get one license and then we work together with the street department or do we have to each get a license to access it? That can be up to the city on how they want to do licensing if you kind of want to get one of each type and then potentially um, like you just have one administrator account that you share and one field editor account, one meter account that you share or you can do um, accounts for each person which is probably what you're technically supposed to do. Yeah, because so like each three thousand, right? So yeah, you'd have to just start out with one license. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, most commonly cities start out with one um, account of each type, and then they go from there on what they need to do okay. on how they use the system. I have a question yeah. there. Um, so, if we add in the electric portion, are we going to pay more annually for this administrative? Do you or will this, does this include any extra? Because obviously we have three uh, services in there right now. So if we added electric, is that going to increase the annual fee? I don't believe it would increase the annual okay. fee. I will need to double check, but I think okay. that would be included in that annual subscription. That's okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. I don't think it matters how much information you have in there. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I have a question too on the um, subcontractors that you would use and the ten percent extra their actual cost. Who would you be using for that? Or you know, when you're doing the scoping and all that on sewers. For this particular project, we wouldn't have any subcontractors. So that's that's some just in here. Language. Okay. Yeah. More okay. common because we have geotechnical um, soil borings or something. Okay. We don't have any of that on this project. So okay. And then one other question. I don't know where was this put in the budget. This ten thousand. I I don't know. I'm just asking. It's. Yes. It currently is not in the budget. We would have to go out for funds for that a little bit later on here in the in the agenda. There's a there's a possibility for us making application for those funds. Mm -hmm. Brian, did you get a chance to look at the contract? Yeah, I did look the at agreement. I did look over the contract, and I don't, I don't think it exposes the city to any unusual or unreasonable risk. Okay. I agree, it would be nice to get done, but I wish we would have had it in our budget. Talked about it a lot over the years, and mm -hmm. now we're moving forward, which is a good thing, you know. But we can take it from a little bit out of quite a few different places. So it's just not getting one part of it, right? Well, it's sewer, sewer and water. Mm -hmm. This one is, so that's the only two. And it'll be electrical too. Eventually. Yeah. But right now. So do we want to move forward or do we want to try to fund it first? It's 9,600. I mean, how did we end up with at the end of the year? Do we know any have any idea of where we were? Were we in a deficit at all? Isn't there money in the water and sewer those accounts that we aren't even in the savings? That, that would cover it. And we do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then if we get this other money that we're applying for, mm -hmm. we just pay back to us. Right. Yeah, the application's due on Friday for mm -hmm. that money. So, and, and it should be a fairly quick turnaround. Okay. Yeah, we could probably take it out of savings if we had to, split it. So there's quite a bit in those two savings accounts right now. It's just, it's a good thing that... Mm -hmm. We've talked about it a lot, so yeah. I'll make a motion that we move forward with the uh, um, new GIS with the engineers. I'll support. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. I will update you guys too, I believe, in your um, packet is also kind of a summary email of where we're at. Um, we have gotten information from Benchmark regarding few items of station enforcement yesterday and today. So we will review that shortly here and have um, an answer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Ali. Meeting number eight, unfinished business, discuss with Brian Reservoir construction, contract, bid, benchmark, ESGW, and the goals. Uh, we met today with uh, <clears throat> Benchmark and high trip RV, and we have that project that O'Brien fully funded. So, but we never did move forward with what came to bid because at that time we didn't have enough funds last year to do it, I guess. So, we never really we talked about it and we put it off and we never got it done. So, we moved forward this spring with these did pass a resolution to approve the bid. Which McCall's already has, we already did it, so we just never made really a decision. Is it not only good for the 30 days now? 
Like, do they need to rebuild the project? Well, we could, if cost went up on it, we could be having to pay a little extra. Mayor, do you have, do you have that the motion, motion could be phrased such that it would be approving the project contingent upon the well as three confirming that didn't happen. And then in case of how it's different, then it comes back. Yeah. We do have a little bit of extra money. If it does, if it does happen, we'll open to avoid that. Well, okay, so my two cents. I know we went back and forth on this. We, we asked them to come down. You know, we asked them to look at it again. I thought it had come down, but in fact, I don't know. It, they came back and nothing changed on it. But I would like to see us look into, you know, Sarah came and Sarah talked about it. I know we have the money to do the project. That's not what I'm saying. We have the money to do the project. We all know that it needs to be done out there. I just have a really hard time spending four hundred and fifty dollars on that. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars on that. Like so, I don't know if we can sit down with Ellie and come up with maybe a couple of options that we could look at outside of that. And I know it's been since twenty twenty one we've been talking about this, so we need to move forward. But if we have the money. And we can do it for less and put money elsewhere in other projects, I think that would be a better option. My new sense. Well, we've looked, we've looked into that. And the biggest cost of costing us out there is a small system. And they will not, the state will not let us go any smaller than what we're building there right now. Right. So even if we were to go with this other building, for a hundred thousand, we're not really putting that much more into this building than that. All the money is going for basically foundation and that pond system, or not pond system, but small, small system. system. We're getting to the end of all these grants to a timeline. Yeah, yeah. And, and to change it and all, I, I, mean, I, I hear you, I agree with you, but we just had something else bid out today that we thought was going to cost. Two hundred thousand, maybe it came back five hundred thousand. This is exactly not true. What we want make this happening everywhere. Yeah, that's why we're reopening up a lot of our grants and adding to them because otherwise, cities can't do it. Right. So, yeah. I guess um, I'm not sure either. It's I know when we had talked about it, and then we didn't have the money and they came back and they reduced their bid. So what did they change that they reduced their bid for it to be affordable within that gap? And then once we got the extra funding, it went back to normal. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I know we want to get well, it done, but it seems like an awful lot of money. You think 10,000 here, 10,000 there, but it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to be like we, they thought we were 80,000 short. This is what we got from Jeremy. We were not short money. Mm. We had all the money. But we went yeah. through all the money that we have today at the meeting. We have $500,000 for that project. And they were telling us we only had 400 or 80,000 short where we weren't. Well, I triple or D put in how much? I'm just trying to remember offhand. Okay, mm -hmm. and then Blandon is one thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then where's the other money? Twenty-five yeah. U.S. Steel. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it was thirty. Was it thirty? Thirty. Okay. Uh, city, if you want, put fifteen in. We got some our funds from the county. They put in seven and six. Uh, and then last okay. fall, when we told them we were short. I triple RB came back and put another hundred and sixty thousand in there. That's why we're up around five hundred thousand with that project. And we don't get that if we don't use it either. Well, you know, we your... don't use there, we'll transfer over to the first oh, street project. Okay. Yes. Or vice versa, however it ends up. So we're covered. I feel we should just move forward and get it done. I would like We've been to talk about it for two, two and a half years. We have done it. We've got to get it done this summer. <laughs> it's a shame what things cost, but 
like I said, I was even shocked today when we thought 250 at the very most, they came back 500. Well, and I agree with like Tanya in the sense of the being conscientious of the funds. I think that we all do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm obviously jaded in the sense that I want to see it move forward after talking about it for this many years. I know that the cost is high. I liked the options that Sarah bought enough to keep them and, and look at them. Um, I know for somebody like myself, I spend a lot of time out there with my kids. And so I also speak at a, as somebody that actually utilizes the beach. And I don't want a porta potty type. I just don't think that that's the best. Um, and that's coming from somebody that uses it. And so, I mean, I don't like the cost. I think it's way high. It's extremely high. But so, I, okay, just no. a question. Where? So how much we have enough money to cover this whole project without putting one more penny into it, well, even Ryan, though yeah, we've yeah, already yeah. spent yeah, on engineering right. fees and everything else? Mm -hmm. So we're good, and there's no other money coming. We're gonna have a little bit extra money in there if, since we waited so long to approve this bid. If there's change there's orders, something that comes up in there that costs us a little bit more money, we have some extra for that. We were gonna transfer it over to the first street project, and Chris said no. We're leaving that in there in case something for security, in case something we run into some trouble out there or something. Right, you know, like a change do. order. Right. So we do have that completely done, that project. have all the money we need. And we might be able to take some left over and either move it to the first street, which I don't think we're going to have to. I think we're going to get that money from my triple RB to finish that project too, a little extra. And we might be able to use anything that we don't use out there. Like, if I'm going to say, I don't think we should do this soil thing where they want to inject do that soil correction, put it, let's put the slab on, you know, floating slab, put your styrofoam underneath, put a lot of rebar in it, and that's all you need. DSG had overkill on that, as far as I'm concerned, you don't need that. That's what, that's what drives me most crazy about that, is my belief that it was, that's why I want it to be looked at, is because I, th I think it was just overkill. I, I, well, the there's quite a bit of it in there. Mm -hmm. that I'm like, well, and that's why I think it's been so long. I don't even know what we're doing out there, to be honest. And what I mean, I'm sure, you know, they always start you out with the Taj Mahal and you end up with, uh, you know. If we walk away from here tonight, this is my opinion, and there's more information needed. I would just like the council to consider and make a commitment. We need to get this done. Like, there needs to be an answer by the next. We got it because this is what happened. Last time we missed our window of opportunity. The spring came and gone, and there we were again sitting there because we didn't secure somebody to do it. I know we have somebody, but Bagalas is just going to move on to another project. Yeah. Um, so we don't have time to sit and flip paper alone. And the bids are probably going to, from what we're seeing and what these experts are telling them, they're going to come in higher. We're going to pay more. Mayor. If I may say, sitting through the last two meetings about this project, um, Jeremy did iterate and DSDW did, uh, the majority of the expense is the septic system mm -hmm. and that soil um, reconstruction, or what would you call it? It's not actually the building, yeah. it's what has to go. And the reason why it's sized so large is because of the area in which we own or lease. And yeah, and we, they have to think there's 200 people there. They can't get around. That is the states. Yeah. Um, thing. Based on the, on the yeah. size of the, what we lease. Okay, so oh. say, do you have 500 people out there? Realistically, probably never happened. But, but that's what you might say. But no, no, no. You're not getting your own. If you want to toilets. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, the, the area is huge. If you spend one day out there, you see the traffic. On a hot day. Well, you can presume also that it's going to get used more and when you said that kind of stuff. If it plugged up, it would be a catastrophe. Yeah. <laughs> so, what about these ad alternates for a sidewalk and all that other stuff? We're not doing that, or are we? No. It's just going with the base bed. That was the wish list. Yeah. I thought we could wash that. 
Blackwell. Yeah, that yeah. I mean, like we've done so many that are like not Blackwell. So do we ask them for an update and send it and then put it up, approve it or not approve it the next council meeting? I mean, they must have it available to them. Or no. What do you mean that? Do we put the update in the bed? Yeah. Is that what you're asking or what you're asking? Well, the changes that we had is what you're talking about. Yeah, How we went from a two, three bed, three bathrooms to two each, yeah, separate was, doors. I think that's what you're asking. Right. I don't know what happened We're to not that. Doing that. We're going back to the original. What was there? Everything that was on there will be on there, except for maybe the soil correction. And we have the money to even do that if we want. I just think it's just. But I want to stick with the flushing toilets for sure. That's right. Mm -hmm. We won't be cutting anything out that we have talked about before. Everything will be as was drawn. And this building will be heated in the winter. Uh, there, if they were, if you, what we had in the original bid was we were adding a plastic tubing, but we didn't put anything in there. If we wanted to heat it, we would have to put a boiler in. And the suggestion was with our long-term plan of the use, it was made sense to do it the right way the first time versus wishing we would have done it later. Because mm -hmm. we, we had like a three-step, or three Thanks. phases, you know, thinking that it was going to increase the use. Maybe one, at one point in time it would be used more frequently. Not right now, of course. But. So if it's not heated, how is that going to affect the... It shouldn't. It shouldn't do anything. No, drain it. It should be drained. Just like what you're doing. And they'll take care of it. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. It's a huge difference. I, I don't really see any use to, to eat it. There's not going to be nobody else there. There's no one else there. No one no. there. Mm -hmm. Early spring, late fall, maybe. That'd be the only time. Because you're going to have. It's like, but we never, we never freeze up now. Mm -hmm. We shut it off, you know, at the yeah. same time of the year. Okay. We're also getting a new well out there, correct? No, we're using no. the same well, but we're, we put a brand new pump, pump in it already right. last fall. Mm -hmm. That's already taken care of. And that's coming off this amount. That wasn't included it in was your well. In we did that separate. Oh, there was wasn't. never a well in there. We were just going to use the same well. And then it failed. And then just run a different line. Okay. So who's... um? Going to be overseeing the project then. Benchmark. Benchmark will be. So we'll still continue to pay benchmark. It was their project, and we discussed it with SCH, and we were in agreement to let benchmark okay. run that and the first street project on. Okay, we got a, a motion on here to move forward. We got to have a second. Who made the first motion? Susan. Okay. Right. No. No, I didn't no. make a motion. Oh, I thought you made a motion. Okay. I will make a motion to move forward with the project for okay. O'Brien. Did you bring a second? Yeah, I said I would support. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, 8.2, discuss cleanup days. Um, so no. that is my item, and it's still uh, in discussion phase. Okay. 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 Uh, 8.3, update on flower pots, Susan. Okay, so what had gone up there, they were frozen in the ground, so they couldn't get them out. Then they got them out, brought them down to my house. Um, then we got cold weather again, so I couldn't take the pressure. Straw. So then they came and took them and brought them down to the garage, pressure washed them off. They're all cleaned up. Um, they really do look nice. There's a few cracks in them. We're going to be able to use them up at the community center and we're going to paint them black. That's the thoughts that we were going to do. So nice. everyone knows. But they really are in decent shape and they're about $400 a piece. How oh, many are they? So that's good to go. Just so everyone knows. Thank you. Thanks. I know. Okay, 8.4, we basically took care of already. 
85, discuss cultural volunteers for day of action. Canvassing on April 9th, 2024 at 4.30 p.m. and April 12th, 2024, time to determine, time to be determined in the city of Kiwa. Mayor? Yes. So if council recalls um, Sarah Carlin and Habitat for Humanity in partnership with the United Way have chosen the city of Kiwaten for day of action. Um, and in that process, there's a canvassing period, which would be April 9th and 12th, in which a council member goes with Ms. Carling or Melissa from the Habitat from here. Jamie. Jamie. And you um, approach residences, ask them, um, you know, we see that your house needs to be repainted on the front or your trim or some trees um, taken down and work together with them. So they would then go on the day of action route. And if funding is needed for the supplies for a new deck or paint, they would talk to the homeowner regarding that. Um, so she's looking for volunteers on April 9th and 12th to, to do that. We would concentrate on the area of Hayes Edition. Sorry, they're going to move up, or that's the that's area? That's the area we're going to concentrate on. Hayes Edition and then the main street of uh, the city of Kiwaten. We don't want to spread out too much because you're going to have like 75 volunteers here in town. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want to spread out like all. Mm -hmm. So is that something with the... Are we still planning on doing the deck? Yep. Okay. There's a business side of it. Oh, there's the, the government side okay. of it. And this is the residential portion of it. I'd like to help, but I can't. I'm going to be gone okay. in a week. So. I'll help. Okay. Is this a um, weird question, but how are, all the, how are all the volunteers being generated? Through the United Way. Yeah. But how are they being read? Are they, they come from out of town or is there in-town people too? Like how are in-town people asked? They come from out of town, and those are lined up ahead of time. Can other people join? Yes. Yeah. Tanya, would you be available? Oh, yeah. I can do it. I'll figure it out. Uh, I can't commit to creating all of them. I'm going to have surgery on April 8th. But I don't know if anything's really not going to be done at that time. I'm just going to see if we're all and see what we can get what we can pick up, but at the later day, I'll leave it at home. Okay. I'm not here. Okay. Uh, United Way will put flyers in the community so that they'll give a contact person for signing up to be able to volunteer. So. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay. We'll let her know. That. Good. New business. Discuss quotes for a handicapped door at the community center. So we had this voting here a couple weeks ago. We were told by citizens from town that we need to get a handicap door. Why one was never put in the community center, I have no idea. And if the question. But it's something that we're gonna have to do yeah. if we're operating illegally the way we're doing it now. Would that be covered under um handicapped for voting? Where it would get paid for because it's a. I don't check in. You have to. Pardon? Check I should check in. Yeah. That. I don't see why not. Usually they will. That is our polling place. If yeah. they have correct, that's why I'm saying yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not sure. You'd have to check with. Uh, can you check with the yeah. county? Yep. Yeah, I think Are they going to know? On or the can state, um, exactly. or just see if there's any grants. Okay. Usually to, there is, though, for sure, with mm -hmm. the polling. So. Do you want to make a motion to direct me to? Sure. Are we just going to hold off on these mm -hmm. bids then? To the next? Okay. One thing I would like to, though, with these, I would like to see what kind of doors they are because they're different. I was going to look myself. I don't know if we can because when we purchased, the only reason I'm questioning it is when we had put that one in for the post office and library, there was lots of questions on the different types. So I would like to see what they're really offering. That's all I'm saying. 
So if we could do that too, Beth, along with the election grant possibility. Do you remember who put both doors in, Susan? Uh, what's the one on the highway across from McDonald's? Um, construction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I have another question. Is what door is it going on? Because this says it's gonna have to go on it's the on the back. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, because so that's what it says. Door, I look for that. Oh. It does say that. Okay. So oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is there a motion? But it'll be nice to get that done for sure. Wait, no, no. So we're gonna hold off till next next meeting that we want to do <laughs> Yeah. To see if there's a ground. Okay, I'll make a motion to uh, allow the clerk to research a handicap grant for um, due to the election process at the community center. Also mm -hmm. all in favor. Hi. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Nine point two. Discuss obtaining quotes for Christmas lights. So we're in the process of looking looking them up. Is that what we're doing? We're just give you. We need a directive to look them up. Okay. Yep. I'll make a motion to. Um, Give Kirk Mackey the directive to look up the cost of Christmas lights. Mr. Park. We're talking all the ones on the pole. So new ones, all mm -hmm. new, and how many are we looking at? Well, that's another thing. Do we want to just do the downtown area, or do we want to do all the way up to Seventh Street, and then all the way down Absolutely. by my house? They all have to be the same. Yeah. And second question, where are we getting the money for this? Again, once <laughs> we they're find not out cheap. cheap. No, they're not. They're not no. cheap. Um, we ha have a couple feelers out on um, opportunities we could possibly apply for or ask for. Um, but first, I, I need to find out how much it would be. So I'm just okay. asking for permission to, to find out how much. Okay. Well, should we is. just go from the fire hall all the way down? First, yeah. no, all the way to the bike trail. Go all the way up. Yeah. Okay, I think it looks better. It yeah. does, but I'm just yeah. We well, let's look at the cost right. first. Then. Good point. And are these in that bad of shape, or what? What prompted all this? To um, you have how old are these, Susan? They're um, it, they've been redone. Mm. Yes. Rewrapped. Oh. And lighting. And what we were thinking too before was put the LED lighting in them and get rid of the glass bulbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, I mean, the bulbs are huge. I don't know they why that plastic. When in, you're handling them, you know, you're, it's hard to handle those things and not break bulbs on them. Like, right. Like, oh, you, yeah. them. you shake them and they break inside. I will say this if I can add quickly yes. depending on the O'Brien project and I don't know what the final number will be, but. I know that, um, and I'd have to go back and look at the details, but the Blandman Foundation money could be used for Christmas mm -hmm. lights because it was for community yeah, that's mm -hmm. betterment. I don't know if that's yeah. not the right word, but um, just a thought because I think that goes back to what you said too. I mean, if we can, if we can save on some, then we can repurpose that money and buy the other things that we want. Can't you see? And I think you could probably approach like Minnesota Power or. Yeah, Something. good Maybe. idea. Maybe. We do yeah. have a couple. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. 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 So, Thanks. There'll be some money coming. Okay, so we have a Councilor Jivery. Anyone supporting? I did. Council? Awesome. I need a motion. Yep, yep we got one. Really? All in favor? Aye. Motion here. 9.3. Approve to not waive the torque for LMC liability coverage waiver form. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Motion here. Under 9.4. Approve the Sun Life long term disability renewal. Annual premium of 7,964 and the May 1st, 2025. I we'll have a question on this for Billy. Um, this, to me, looks like it is not. I know that they renew in May, 
as it says. But have you sent in the new wages? They have to be in the first. And this is with the new wages? Then? Yeah, I don't understand because I don't know how they determine that. I know we have to send it in by May 1st. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. When you get the new wages in January, when we do the 3% increase, those should be sent to them right away because then they would add that into the 10% that employee pays. And then the other, you know what I'm saying, like yeah, that. Yeah, but I was just thinking, I, that, that is understandable, but I was thinking now, Bill Bill is probably the last person for probation, so I'm just going to send them all at once. Which makes sense, I get that. So it's going to be very close to this as well. No, because they all, okay, no. We still have to have it. I'll make a motion to move ahead right. with sunlight. We, It's in the contract to carry it, but I'm not sure if the... Amount is set right. Right. Yeah. I'll support. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, nine point five approved Northern Minnesota Dental Renewal monthly premium of fifty four sixty. The single one thirty ninety five family ending February twenty eighth, twenty twenty five. Support. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Motion carried. Five <coughs> six approved payment of the whole M and R fourth quarter twenty twenty three invoice for twenty seven thousand eight twenty five thirty two to the city of Nashua for the Eastern Itasca Joint Sewer Board. Mayor? Yes. Uh, both city clerks met. Um, went over all the questions that uh, a couple of the counselors did provide. Um, she had answers to the invoices that were su su supplied to the city of Keewatin. Also, um, keep in mind that just the city of Keewatin and the National <coughs> City pay um, for the invoices currently, which is an arrangement that was created prior to um, us joining. Lone Pine will have a portion of that when they join. Also, um, we learned through our public utilities that if we have the samples picked up, it's only $20. And I know that um, Mark Tier, thank you, um, had got off the telephone with that laboratory right before I talk to him and they will now um, pick theirs up for a flat $20. And the, and the same Billy will look into that for the city of Kiwatin for Rob. So we won't have that high fuel cost because he was driving the samples there well, with when, the truck. When did they start doing that, Susan? Um, since the bill was like $400 for PAC and was 50 bucks. Wait a minute. I don't know. Council, you have to go to the podium. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I remember when we, they always picked them up mm -hmm. when I was here. They dropped them off and picked them up. Plus, we had Northeast. Technically. When they came by to pick up the sewer plant, they picked up the water samples. Okay. All so, that, you know, we brought them down there, put them in a box, and picked them up. So, Their price is off reaches right now. Well, that'll change too, I would guess, but so be it. No. Okay. okay. Motion made then to pay that bill. Yeah. Okay. Second. All in favor? Who's the second? Pam? I don't say anything. I'll make a motion to pay it. I don't know who did. I think you were asking. Oh, okay. The question, but, it was her, but I will support you if you are. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Somebody just hang up the billy. Adopt a resolution approving a proposed fee schedule for residential and commercial properties. <coughs> okay. Have a recommendation for us on, on the ability or are they all on the side so far? 
Yeah, it's in the Mayor? Yep. Yeah. It's page 38. So basically, the residential is probably going to have to increase with um, well, it's eight, what the new rate is, 824.20 with the recycling because we weren't getting we were charged for recycling before, but it was just the one flat, seventeen dollars for everything. No, it's twenty four twenty. I don't have that sheet. Page thirty eight. Mm -mm. So um, basically, yeah, three options. She gave us three options with the tax. Uh, it was twenty seven forty four, thirty seventy three, or thirty two ninety three. And I'm kind of thinking that, you know, we have other costs to incur. So we've got people's time, we have delivery of garbage bins, we have pickup, things like that. Um, and we should have a little buffer in there. So I was thinking maybe going with like $31 flat fee for the residential. which is gonna be, that would be with the tax. So basically um, $28 plus tax. So an increase of $11. And that's giving a little bit of cushion. So basically short and simple, adding $10, to the waste management billing fee to cover everything that we may incur or going forward or replacements and buying, you know, extra garbage cans or, cause we have to pay for all that. That's not free, so. And what's that, eight, what's that 8,398 comment? What's that current record? What does that mean? Is that what comes in right now? Where is that? Yes. Oh, I guess to me, the current revenue and the project costs are kind of immaterial. Okay. It's what we're getting charged by waste management and what we need to charge and versus what we were charging. Sorry. Right. So the current charge, the new cost and are what we should charge. Okay. The project costs that can vary. I mean, kind of depending, it can go up and down. So um, we can get more customers or we can lose customers. So um, I think we just really need to focus on what we're getting billed at the new contract and what we need to charge. So if we went kind of and just kept the billing at a normal, even number, like going down the list. so. We're probably looking at ten dollar increase across the board there, roughly. So like the two yard monthly would be I just threw these numbers out there. One twenty five. The what is O N C? On call. Oh, on call. Okay. Forty one. What does on call mean? Meaning are you looking at residential? Where are you at? Uh commercial. The first one under the two yard monthly. If they want to call in when they want their dumpster emptied, that would be the charge. Oh. Otherwise, it would be every other week or monthly. Okay. And that's only for a two yard? Where is it? Because the other ones, you don't get that option. Yeah, it must be uh, anything. Okay. Okay, so if they need an extra dump, they would have to pay that. Okay. And then every other week fee would be like $68. Then on the four yard monthly 185, every other week 103, the six yard 239, end of every other week 94, the eight yard 294, and the end of, or every other week 161. So 
So really, if I'm looking at this correctly, like what you're talking about, Pam, is like really not not very much difference between what waste management is charging and what we would be collecting. Mm -hmm. But enough, if you do a cross, oh. to, like you said, that buffer. Um, yeah, to have some. Okay, and you're thinking a little option extra. two? Well, I, I just kind of, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, 28 on the residential to include the recycling. And that includes recycling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, your tax is added, but that all gets paid mm -hmm. right out to the state. So, we don't collect anything on that. And then the regular. The regular dump is the 35, and right now we're charging that 65.95 on a two year because it was yeah. So mm -hmm. because we have that extra 25 on there, right? The delivery charge. The delivery charge. Yep. Okay. One time. One time, and then 40 for the extras. Okay. Right. Okay. So on these two yard monthlies, are these uh, people that have those? They don't have the option, then if they want to dump it once or twice. What difference does that make? He said that when he was here. Yeah, the charges are on his. They will. They can, I suppose they if can they don't pick. want to pay the, what it's getting raised to, they can have it dumped every other week instead of every week. So their charge would go down. Yeah, that's that's what I believe some of them are going to do. And that's going to lend itself to another conversation. Okay. Yeah, and maybe we want to put that on the next agenda. So, so we'd have to find out which ones want to which ones want to do it, right? Yeah. So if they went, if it's sixty eight dollars for every other week, yeah, that's one hundred thirty six, and then one hundred twenty five a month. So <clears throat> I don't know, just some ideas to make it simple. I mean, obviously, we have to raise the rate. We don't have a choice. I like simple. You know, just <laughs> yeah. yeah, just here it is. <laughs> Add it on. Whatever is easiest for the. So it's, um, let me see now. I didn't exactly go, because it's 11 on. I mean, we could just say add $10 on each one to kind of make it. Kind of looks like too. 118. That was the two yard monthly would be a little higher then versus the. the so it'd be 72 for a, every on. other week and then 128 for a. Yeah. And then 45 for a. So the average bill, then, if you were paying seventeen, you're going to be paying twenty-eight. Now, twenty-eight. That's where we're headed. Mm -hmm. Well, I think based on the spreadsheet, I don't see a, I don't see any error with the numbers. I mean, they align with where we have to mm -hmm. be. I would just like to have a little bit of a breathing room where we can go up if we need to. You know, start. Right, and we're not going to really know till the end of the year, anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean. <clears throat> just kind of get through this year and see how it ends up Yeah. with our bills and, you know, or, and it, actually when they start billing us, so it'll be April 1st, Billy. So by the end of, yeah, May's bill, is May's bill April. will be the yeah. one. Okay. Gotcha. And my opinion on this is, um, to separate the recycling because we don't have to pay tax on that. Um, there's only 245 residents in town that do recycling. So um, I would like, I would pay, you know, $8 or $9 for recycling. Some people aren't going to want to do that, but I don't see to continue to add that into that full charge. I'd rather have the 64 separate the green cart separate on garbage and then the recycling, however we want to do the prices on that um, and do a separate line item, just like we did for the sewer. That's how I feel, you know, but it is council. We're going to have a more than likely a 5% increase on all of this for the next, you know, five years. 
with the CIP. And the CIP, I looked into that, that is lower. And it says, whatever is higher, and that's going to be the CIP at 5%. And the other one is, you know, whatever the CIP is, the cost of living. So it's, it's a tough contract for sure. Yeah. And right now, any none of the businesses are paying recycling, correct? Yeah, they do. Where do they pay recycling then? I don't know. And there's, I just started looking at it when I started going over there. There's, a, I think all three bars have a recycling charge up on their bills of twenty dollars. Okay. Um, and there was, I, I know all they had, there was five that had exactly. recycling, and I don't know. And then Dan has a recycled corrugated. A six yard, and that's what I I don't recall seeing that, but I haven't looked at any of their bills, so I can't answer that, you know. And I never noticed it until I started looking at the mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying there's some, uh, some adjustments that also have to be made in there, but. So I guess, I don't know, looking at this, so it's $17 right now, and that included recycling, yes, and that's did. what everybody paid. Mm -hmm. So it would be $28 that includes recycling. That's what everybody would pay. Regardless, they all have a cart. If they don't want to recycle, I guess. Oh, well. I mean, it's still a flat rate going to each person, you know, each resident. Regardless. All right. So uh, the other comment. I know that Bruce has been approached as well. Uh, business owners have asked. They're not going to want to pay for everybody's trench in town. So before they used to be able to block them, came with a bar, they blocked them. Mm -hmm. I have been asked if there is an option for that to happen. So if we could find out about that, because that's, the, that's one of the biggest complaints is that people just, come through on the weekend when they're not there and dump their It shelter. happens back here and I just watched someone down at the sewer plant with two two yards down there. I watched them do it. Yep. They oh. drove there, dumped it in and drove away. Yep. I, I can shed some light on that. Uh, what we did back then was we went around and we bought little uh, clamps to go on the side and welded them on and got bars that we gave everybody locks. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of these new dumpsters now are some of them are plastic, some of them are some of them are still metal. If that's what we did, and the reason that we no, when we got new dumpsters, they they didn't want them on anymore. Take them off. They all said, get them off. They're nothing but a trouble for us. You know what I mean? Well, now it, now it's not going to be when you're paying three times the amount. You know, for the city to go back now yeah. and to do that. Yeah, and that's I I'd have to look at some of these dumpsters and see. That might not be that plan might not. I mean, the other option is, I mean, obviously they all don't have a spot to roll it in or right. roll it out. Right. So, and I know people do that all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're not. Yeah. yeah they're not incredibly concerned with the cost. It's just paying for other people. Mm -hmm. So it would impact the, the schedule. Yeah. They still want to pay for. It. But I mean, the people in Kiwatin, what's the difference? They're still getting built. So why would they dump garbage in some in a business owner's dumpster when? You're getting bills anyway. Well, and yeah. it's usually a big item that you can't put in there. Yeah, and so that could be. Where was people going down computers or TVs or something oh, yeah. like that? And that's true. Because they can't get rid of them. It's a, it's a it's a big deal. I get it. Yeah. You know. So. So I will. If we're done, I'll make a motion to. Um, if I'm hearing everybody correctly, um, to go with something down the middle of option number two with the uh, $28. Um, I could read all the way down. Should I? Well, I didn't do option two like the whole way. The I, I just, yeah. okay, so what I was calculating was option two for residential yeah. only. Yeah which yep. would be $28. Yep. Then all I did on the commercial was take the waste management new rate and add $10 to that column. Yeah. So it'd be their new rates for all the commercial plus 10 to 
make it simple. Yeah. So what is that ratio? So like, um, so 118.32 on that two yard would be like, is it easier to have it a flat number, like $128 versus $128.32? Just make it a flat fee? If it's 100, just don't put the cents. Make yeah. it up one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, 128. I mean, just kind of rounding it either way. Okay. So 28 for residential. Yeah. Um, Do you need to tax that real fast? No. No, just 28. 28 and then the two yard monthly would be 128. Are you on residential? Nope. Mm -hmm. I went down to commercial now. I'm on the spreadsheet, I guess. So two yard monthly 128. ONC 45. EOW 63. I mean, 73. Once the four yards, 185. EOW, 103. Are you writing these down? Yeah. I haven't written down this. Yes. Okay. Six I yard, 239. EOW, 94. Eight yard, 294. And EOW, 161. <laughs> I think we can leave that as is what we're charging them. Okay. Yeah. I think that one's fine. Okay, I'll support so we have I'll support Chris's action. Okay. <laughs> and include a copy for Billy and further discussion. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we need roll call? No. no, I'm not voting on it. Okay, roll call. Oh. Uh, Tanya? Yes. Councilor Jivery? Yes. Mayor Levine? Yes. Councilor Levine? Yes. Councilor Johnson? No. Okay, maybe I have a piece of paper. 9.9. 9.9. Yep, what is that one? 9.9. Adopt the resolution approving the current public utility rates for electric, water, and sewer. Mayor? Yes. Um, through our audit, our our auditor would like to see us do this every year annually. Um, and we'll in the future we'll do this in the January organizational meeting, but she just wants to get 2023 um, taken care of here. So Billy, were there any changes to this? The only change would be off of the garbage fees. Like the garbage will be changing other than the pricing, but it Okay. So I'll make a motion. Do I need to say the whole thing? Adopt the resolution approving the current public utility rates for electric water and sewer for 2024 until the 20, yeah. rate changes again. Question for you, Billy. Are, what is, I thought the kilowatt was 11.5. No. Nope. It's 10. Okay. Yeah, it's 10. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. 9.10, discuss change in regular council meeting date on the April 2nd and the 24th. Absent council members. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Uh, I will not be able to make the one on the 10th, but I'll probably make the one on the 24th. So I think we're only going to have to worry about the 10th. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gone. Both dates. Okay. 
and I'm gone to town. Okay. Okay. So we can't have one then. So okay. we'll have to switch that one for sure. So otherwise, can't. Or we do we want to just yeah. make motion to have claims? <clears throat> yeah. Um. <laughs> Can we make a motion to pass the claims for the 10th meeting? Yeah. Um, Mayor, if I may. Yes. Please. I think what you could do is you could pass a motion uh, that all regular bills and expenses would be authorized for that meeting just so we didn't get behind. And then they could be ratified at the following meeting with the understanding that they would have already been paid. And obviously, anything that would be an unusual expense would have to be held over to the meeting on the 24th. So, you know, we could pay all of our regular office expenses, paper, electricity, those sorts of things. But if it were an extraordinary expense, like a, a repair or breakdown, something like that, that was a major expense, we would have to come back to the council. Okay. <laughs> So I'll make a motion then to cancel the April 10th regular council meeting but to allow the payment of... I would do it as two separate Two separate motions, motions? okay. Do you have a motion? Cancel the Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. And if I may, Mayor, yes. the secondary motion that I would make would be to authorize payment of the regular expense, uh, expenses of the city that are reason or necessary and convenient to avoid the payment of late fees. So basically what that's directing is anything that would come to that we can avoid paying additional amounts by paying it prior to the meeting on the 24th or authorized. Anything that can wait, can wait. I'll make that motion. <laughs> I'll support it. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I never get to do that. <laughs> well, we're just having one meeting right now. You're just on having the, the meeting on the 24th. 24th. Right. And Councillor Levine will be absent on Correct. the 24th. Yes. So everybody has All to be here. Right. I mean, Bye. three of you for Bye. sure have to Bye. be here. Okay. Okay. Yes, Item 11. <coughs> Discussion. The city of Toronto joining the Nashua Joint Annual Report. Uh, I, I don't think we have much choice but to join. The only issue that I would have is if something down the line comes up that we don't like, how do we get out? Well, there is. Um... So in that draft contract, there is the ability to withdraw. Um, my thought is pretty straightforward. You don't get much to say about the contract unless you're actually sitting at the table. So if you don't contribute, you don't say. You know, and um, I think it's no secret that we're in the coverage area. We'll get the service regardless. But I mean, it, it really is a group effort. I, I, I really I think it would be in poor taste to not contribute to the cause but that's my sole opinion uh, and it's it's in the baby stages so this you know it doesn't <coughs> say you know change our mind or anything we're not locked into anything there is mm -hmm. that clause to be able to get oh and i don't know how this is going to evolve i don't i really truly don't know right and it, most of you have the same information as i do as it's coming through i read it you know a lot of its discussions which I would encourage anybody to go to. I mean, it is open to other people. Interested community members are going. It's the same people, but that doesn't mean that other, it's not an exclusive group. So that's my thoughts. And I just need a motion to be able to do that. Uh, or at least <coughs> they just need to know that Kiwatin's interested today. And that's... I agree with being at the table. 
because we should have a voice in it. Uh, but there's lots that's got to be changed. Anybody read through that? It's, mm -hmm. it's bad. Um, so that runs my, it makes my second thought. But if we, I, if we need to, I really think that it would be more appropriate for somebody like Donna to be attending meetings like that because she has more experience with the emergency services and all of those types of things and I do not. So I'm a great note taker. I can share information, but I don't have the ins and outs of what they, they do. And even though it's not the same, ambulance and fire department, it's still, it's more similar than different. So, but two separate things, mm -hmm. I realize. Um, I have a question. So, would we need a letter of any sort or a resolution saying that we're willing to participate in the? Yeah, we should do. JPB. We should probably do it as a as a resolution ultimately, but a simple motion no. would suffice okay. for the for now. Okay. Well, I'll make a motion then to um, for the city to join the Nashwalk Joint Ambulance Board. You want to put any contingencies in there? I'm just nervous. I have a question on that. Is this the one where we have to pay up front before the contract is even made? We don't know. We don't know. We have no idea. Okay. Because that's what I understood we had to pay, so we don't know yet. So we're just Did you see, still, read that, JP? I read some of them. Okay. Yes, I did. Yeah. Because we've gotten a couple different ones since that original one she sent us. Then we got a different one that was brought. Yeah. Yeah, that so original I, one was from a different mm -hmm. town. Yeah. yeah. yeah but this yeah. was the Nash Rock one. The one that they wanted mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. So I can support with comment because I think you have a good question, Susan. And I think that's the part with this is that everything, regardless if it's Tanya or myself or who even or you, Everything has to come back to the council. For right. Approval. So if we decide that we get more information and it's like, whoa, 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 this is way different than what we thought, I think that they're looking for a genuine interest. Like, who really wants to be a part of it? And if people are like, no, 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 no I don't want to do it, they want to know that because mm -hmm. they want to know how many communities they're working with at this point in time. Um, but I think all of those questions will have their place and they'll be good ones when the time comes. It was 13, right? 15, 13. 15. Well, it changed because there was two additional that weren't added. It was 11. Oh. Or was it 13? No, I think it was 13 and then two additional. Yeah, because two were for God. There's 15 communities. Yeah. Okay. And the county will not be participating. No. Well, but it's through some point. Right. To a certain point. Right. 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 To a, yeah. The county still supplements. Yeah. Yeah. To a certain percentage. And we'll continue to do so. Six weeks. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, Mary, a motion and a second? No second. Uh, I second. Oh, yeah. okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Nine. Discuss proposed Eastern yeah. Atasca Joint Sewer Board bylaws. Ryan, right, do you have something to shed on that? I do, ma'am. So these bylaws that uh, that are in the packet tonight, um, they're uh, a draft, a working draft. And I think the big idea behind these is to, to, to kind of show the council and to show the Nashua Council what sorts of things are addressed in the bylaws. Now, there are some things that I'd like to do with these bylaws that aren't, haven't been done yet here. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to do, uh, because obviously these bylaws have to be in agreement or at least not contradict the joint power agreement that creates the uh, joint sewer board. And there's some spots in here where those things aren't really clear. Uh, according to the bylaws here, basically the, the commission or the joint power board can enter into contracts simply by a majority vote of the board, which isn't always true. There are certain contracts that are required to come back to each council individually to be supported by the councils as opposed to just the appointed commissioner 
representing each body. So I'd like to clarify some of that, some of that stuff in here. And at the same time, I'd like to um, tinker with the voting process within the board or the joint power board um, to create a situation or to create a vote where each community would get a vote. And then if there were a tie or for some reason there was a, we came to a loggerhead, then have that utility position from Nashwalk cast a vote. Um, because it, as it currently stands, the way that the voting is occurring practically within the uh, within the Joint Power Authority, uh, the city of Nashua gets a vote, then an employee of the city of Nashua gets a vote, and then we get a vote. And so we're, it, it seems we're behind the, the eight ball to begin with on the votes. Mm -hmm. And if we could use the bylaws to somehow even that playing field out to see where there's genuine agreement, and while that may not be very meaningful right now, it may become more meaningful as uh, additional communities join into this joint power board. I asked that specific I asked question you. when we were there, and we were told no. Nashua has one vote, yeah. Kimwatton has one vote, and Lone Pine has one vote. That's what we were told. Yes, per because the mayor of Nashua. And, and I did ask because that mm -hmm. was the appointee from their public utilities who was at Balf could sit on there, but they said he had a vote. But then when the question was asked, they said, no, that yeah. that person is just a liaison. They don't get a vote. Well, so it needs to be, needs to be needs clarified. To be clarified. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Tell me the same thing, but they, they don't have that extra vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Let's, we'll yeah, capture that. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. 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 I but, bold, bold writing piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, that's generally what's happening here. So, if there are other comments or questions or items of concern, I can bring those back and discuss those with uh, council for an walk and we can update this draft. But these are, okay. I mean, typical, these are typical things that you would find in the game of bylaws: setting meeting dates, setting positions, just kind of the order of business. Okay. We may need a motion. Well, or not? Do you want us um, to get a motion yet, to or you just want to? Yeah, we we could maybe hold off on motion, okay. and the council could just direct me back to to complete my work with Mr. Boyd. Okay. Direct him. I make motion for that. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Can you repeat that motion, please? <laughs> Councilor oh, Moore. Oh, she did. The nine thirteen approve Q on Fire Department purchase of six individual thermal imaging cameras from MES for six thousand one hundred eighty-five dollars and eighty-two cents. Funded with donations and 2023 public safety funds. <coughs> to approve the purchase of the thermal energy cameras. And the rest as written. I'll support. Any further discussion? What would I do have a question? The donations. What who is what is that about? Or? We had we had collected donations before prior to for this and I know that we did a resolution accepting them. It was the Legion, the Amvets, can't remember, maybe the Pan Bailey Boosters Club and then Olson's uh, family that had donated that five hundred mm -hmm. two John Olson. Yep. And um, so I can't remember the exact amount. It was like thirty seven hundred I think that we collected. Mm -hmm. And then we would use the rest of the earth. We would put in the public safety funds for that. Need roll call. Roll call. Are you abstaining? Abstaining? Yeah. I don't have to abstain because it's not monetary to me. I don't okay. believe. Correct. Okay, I'll just abstain. Thank yep. you. Yep. Thank you. We're up to date motion, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Oh, no, we got to do. Yeah, abstain. Oh, She's call. abstaining. Okay. Abstaining? Councilor Jibri? Yes. Mayor yes. Levine? Councilor yes. Levine? Councilor Thompson. Thank you. 
Motion carried. Thank you. Much appreciated. 914, discuss best practices for gathering information on city business. Okay. The taxes in there? I it's just going to be removed. Send an ST3. Okay, so then the price is different, though. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, right? No, it's not. You took the price off. Yeah. Okay. I did. Perfect. Thank you. I just saw that. Sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I guess I just kind of want to clarify the roles of council and mayor. Um, now that we have a full time clerk here who's doing a great job in the office, there's a lot to learn. And, you know, over the past year, she's done a great job learning and getting the ropes down and what needs to be done and resolutions and all that kind of stuff. So, but she still is our main contact person. And so I think going forward as council people, we need to um, abide by that and kind of let her do her thing, you know, with directives from the council or sometimes things are just don't actually need a directive, you know, like the cash register broke down. Well, we need to order a new one. You just do it. There's things that, you know, that kind of stuff that doesn't need to have a directive from the council. And I think as mayor and counselors, we need to, you know, kind of stay out of the outside world as we, you want to call it or whatever, and let the clerk call for grants or check on grants or meet with the engineers and get updates on projects. And that's kind of her job to follow through with anything that might be not done or, um, you know, things like that, keeping an eye on stuff. Um, so I guess, you know, we just need to stay in our lane and let the office do their work and uh, public utilities clerk as well. So that's just want to kind of like reiterate that we're decision makers for policies and things like that. So I um, just want to make sure that we're not overstepping and causing any issues. So that being said, like I see funding stream opportunities sometimes um, just based on my role. So I will just send them to that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. As well as I do. Is there any specific things from you that that you're noticing just, or that you would just, like to clean up? I just want the council to realize when votes are taken and motions pass, you do it as a whole. If if it if the motion doesn't go or pass with your vote, it doesn't matter. It was voted on as a whole, and you you make your decisions as a whole. So I want to make sure that. We're following that. Attorney, do you have anything to add? What, uh, I think the one thing that I would add is, is this. As council members, and maybe, maybe this is a way to make a distinction. As council members, you're, it's within your purview to, to try and collect information. So, you know, Council Mars asked a question about if, if she finds a funding source. That's a great thing. Um, and, and, and investigating and gathering information is part of your role as a council member. It helps you to be more informed as you participate in, in conversations. And I think, uh, I, I tend to agree wholeheartedly that once the decision is made, the city needs to speak with one voice so that there's no confusion and it does a couple of things. Um, number one, it, it kind of presents a unified front on the part of the council. And number two, it also creates accountability for the clerk's position. Because if we say as a council, uh, Madam Clerk, we want you to go out and do X, Y, and Z, and she goes out and tries to do X, Y, and Z, but there's a lot of other voices or other people taking action or other things happening in the background, and she comes back to the council and says, well, I wasn't able to accomplish X or Y, then if she's the only one working on it and she's the only one taking action, then she would have the information to say, this is why it's not done, this is, this is the issue. 
but if there's more than one voice coming from the city, you know, then we may have to reach back out to folks that we're in contact with saying, well, who have you talked to about this? Who's, you know, have you gotten direction other than what we've received from the clerk's position? And I think it, it creates a difficult situation. And I think for accountability's sake, I think once the decisions are made, speaking with one voice is a very important part of the process. I don't know if I made that better or worse or confused it or what. And I think, you know, if the council, you know, say like with your uh, cleanup days, so we made a directive for you to work with the police chief to get the information and present, you know, things like that are different if the council's agreeing that yes, a councilor can do it or the mayor or whoever, you know. Yeah, so I don't know. My deal with the funding stream, it came across my email. I actually forwarded to Sarah and asked Sarah if it would behoove us to apply for funding purposes. Um, and then we chatted a bit this morning, but the application is due by Friday. So that's not funny. Um, yeah, so, and I know that it was discussed at the meeting this morning and whatever, but so maybe I went rogue and did that backwards, but. I know. Sometimes it can't be helped. I, I run into the same situations all the time when I normally let that go as soon as yeah. possible. Yeah. That's for us to get something somewhere, and she does the same thing for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think those are more flexible when it comes with trust and knowing what people are doing. I think you get to that point where you can do certain things and then nobody worries about that. Anyway. Nine fifteen. Adopt the resolution to apply for and accept the grant amendment to the IRRRB amount of ninety thousand dollars for construction costs for First Street project awarded to KGM contractors in the amount of two forty seven eight one seven. All right. Well, we're, we've met with IRRRB, Chris has proposed us to do this, we're going to ask to amend the last amount that they gave us of 350000 and add the 90000 to that grant. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. I'll support. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. 916, adopt the resolution to apply for a letter of intent to apply and accept funds from the Blandon Foundation in the amount of 75,000 for a comprehensive facility structure grant and any additional funds to be used as seed money for repairs. Okay, so like what we just talked about earlier with uh, lighting and uh, what was the other stuff we had earlier? We're wondering where we get that $9,000 from. If we get this grant, that's something that could possibly be used for. We could also use it for setting up our comprehensive deal for the city of Kewatin. And A comprehensive plan, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were good with that. We are good. We are good with the city comprehensive plan um, that we have received, but this is a facility structure. Oh, different. Um, okay. To have each government building looked at and then also include in this the spire building. To know what we could utilize or what would need to be repaired for that and if any specific improvements if the facility structure plan comes back and we need new electricity or new breaker panel boxes the seed money would be able to be used for that or okay. yes to repair okay. prepare yes repair so the credit union is that the first place they're going to start or how is this going to work? Because what I'm thinking, $75,000, we have a lot of city buildings. Um, once we get to the spire and the bills keep coming in and we don't have enough funds, how is that going to work? So you're asking like, <laughs> where, which building we would assess first? Yes. Since we don't own the credit union. Yeah. <laughs> it's not our building. So um, we're getting money to do this 
Yeah. Check. So, check. so how does short that story, we would assess whichever buildings the council directs us to assess first. Um, I know Sarah has specifically asked me about this fire building, so I would assume that's okay. top of the list, and we can okay. work with um, Blaze or Spire to kind okay. of coordinate that. That's kind of a real estate question on inspections, but right. I would assume we would start there. But I hear guys is directed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so who's who does the inspections? We can. You yeah. can? Okay. We have an architect, structural engineer, and we can call like okay. one person. Do you have like an estimate mm -hmm. on what you think it would be? Or? For the spire building itself, probably about seven grand. Okay. Oh. Um, for additional city buildings, it would obviously be more cost effective to do that all at the same time and mm -hmm. have people up here. So we wouldn't have to take them from other offices to come up here. Okay. Uh, but I'm not sure how much that would be to add on other buildings. Okay. And then we could determine which ones we want to look at in yeah. that case. Okay. Yeah. And if you guys have a list, I can pass that along. We can kind of mm -hmm. get an estimate of how much that would be. Okay. Okay. Our land, is, our land is by Chris today, and he, you know, he's not promising it or guaranteeing it, but he says that IRRRB would probably help with some of this too, looking into this building. Okay. You know, it's not in stone, but it's easy when he tells us something. Well, and concept. one thing that I was thinking of, and I don't know, you know, daycare facility. I mean, I don't know if daycare facilities just aren't around or if it's the providers that are hard to come by. So um, that would be an ideal mm -hmm. spot for, you know, once it gets set up and, you know, mm -hmm. obviously probably not the upstairs, but maybe the main floor is, you know, something to think about, I guess. So this money can be used to pre us owning the building. It can be part of that. That's mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, so it would be used for the entire study, what okay. the council decides, and then the money would be used for any updates or anything that the city needs um, as, as a result. Fit. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this is the one that has a deadline, and that is why yeah, we're reaching out here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. I'll support. Thank you. Thanks, Ellie. All right. Here. Do we have any reports? Uh, just uh, Fourth of July meeting on Monday, April first at five o'clock, just to kind of finalize what the plans are, and I think we're pretty well set. So that's all I have. Okay. So I guess we need a motion to adjourn. Okay. Yeah, I have something real quick. Okay. Oh. If I may switch hats, Northwind Church on Friday is going to have a free fish fry from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Anyone's welcome. If you guys don't want to cook on Friday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And burgers, too, I think. Yes, burgers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn to Wednesday, April 24th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.